You're watching Chewing the Cud. With my friend you know, and Lee Robertson. So I put Tiger Balm in his loop and just waited. Oh. Spicy. Burn good. Well, I'll learn him. But well, welcome to Chewing the Cud. How are you doing this week, Lee? I'm fine, thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I find thank you, yes. Succinct and to the point. <laughs> okay. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. So, yes, um, have you got anything interesting for this week's showbiz? Could possibly. <laughs> Famous <laughs> people doing it things, making movies, making music, all that kind of stuff. Okay. Yes. So, not a baldy clue. But on screen now, you have all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Could TV on social media where you can follow us. The Could.tv is our website and on YouTube and podcast services. Look for Chewing the Could and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have reached out to us on social media scroll along the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. You're having a good summer, Lee. Yes, yeah, all right. Yes, yeah, all right. I don't like it. You don't like the summer. Why do you not like the summer? It's too hot. You just go out in your garden. It's too hot. To go out in the garden. It's too hot to go anywhere, do anything. <laughs> you just sit in your pants sweaty and complaining. I just don't like it. But not we shouldn't have the summer if we're not allowed to go on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> you are allowed to go on holiday. I know, but you have to pay for it. Anyway, um, well, I feel sorry for poor Angela. Angela. Poor Angela. Can we call her Ange? I, she doesn't say she likes to be called Ange. Uh, Mangela. Okay, no. and her husband, um, Who's Raymond. Husband? Raymond. <laughs> you like Ray. You like that. They, like, they sound like fun. They sound like they swingers. They like fun. Well, they've uh, they're from Edinburgh, right? Okay. They're, they're saying that they're living in a slum, right? And it's ruining their summer Either. because the grass around their flats has not been cut since October. Oh, it's not that, that's not too fair. It's not that bad. It's not as not as uh, you know, not as, as as high as one would imagine. It's not. <laughs> it's not jungle level. Well, that's the thing. It is. Um, so yeah, Angela, who's fifty three, and her husband. Fifty three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hard life up there in Edinburgh, isn't it? <laughs> and He's 27. <laughs> 66. Oh, OK. Um, the garden hasn't been trimmed since 2020. Outrageous. Right, it was trimmed once last year, um, but she's scared. Poor Ange. Dinosaurs. No worse. She's scared that if her, her granddaughter comes around and lies down in the grass, she'll be lost forever. Oh, forever, like a little borrower. Yeah. In the, in the in like, honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> Not a massive garden. It, well, it doesn't look like it's, particularly. It, it's a do small they patch of grass. Do they well, not? They say they have mobility issues and so can't do it themselves. Right. So who do, who has been doing it for them? Uh, the housing association. Do okay. It, right, but they're, they're appalled that they've not done it since October. Right. Well, Angela's saying that nettles are so big they're w reaching the window sills. Well, they're not really on that picture. Oh, they're halfway there, aren't they? Halfway there, yeah. Yeah. Um, Bit of miracle growth. <laughs> to make a point valid. Um, well, they've got a nice little seat there. Exactly. I mean, it, it, what this it, it was no, no, mo, mo, no, mo, mo, me. Mo, 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 no, Hello, I'm having a stroke. Um, no, no, mo, may was earlier in the year where yes. they said don't mow your lawns for the entire month of May because mm -hmm. it gives nature. Yeah, all the bees and insects. Bees and flowers and things. Yeah. So, you know, they're just doing that. Yeah. Just doing that. Let's put a tin of lighter fluid. Match. Woof. Nothing left. That would be the end of that. That's my that's my suggestion. There you go. Is your garden mostly sort of like fake flowers and things? I have no living things in my garden. <laughs> so if you did that, <laughs> just with one plastic melting <laughs> mess. Big melting yeah. belt. No, yeah. I don't. Ha we have. Um, uh, um, I want to. I want to say stones. Uh, okay, you want to say stones. I want to say stones. stones. <laughs> and yeah, pots. No grass. Not even fake grass. Don't even not even bother with that. <laughs> and in the pots are real flowers? Some are real. <laughs> On purpose? Yes. Okay. Some are not so real. Just to confuse the fucking bees. Mm. <laughs> bees going, to be fair, uh, I have oh, seen no. them hovering around and then going... <laughs> <laughs> and then flying off again. Yeah, yeah. I can believe it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so move it, moving a little south now. Okay. From Edinburgh. Okay. So up or down? South is down. Okay. Um, I need to talk to you about a smelly erection. You could notice it with these cows. <laughs> well, you said it is hot. <laughs> um, Tea swallocks. Yes, it's like a swamp. <laughs> like a salt and vinegar factory down there some <laughs> salt days. Salt and vinegar factory. Yeah. You never 
we got that aroma. No, yeah, just me. Just you. <laughs> <laughs> Quite fresh around there, to be fair. I think, oh, somebody's frying something. It's not. It's my groin. Um, <laughs> Your groin's on fire. That's not good. Um, but this is a, a story about um, a telephone pole in Oldham. Oh, okay. Not what you were expecting. No. No. Um, but basically, um, two months ago, Sophie, who's 29, okay, um, alerted to the fact that a letter was attached to a lamppost. An odd stance, isn't it? For, <laughs> <laughs> what, side on? Yeah. Sucking and going. It's quite strange. Legs akimbo. It's like she's about <laughs> to give birth. <laughs> My waters have just gone. <laughs> <laughs> um they, they just put this... She was at work on a Tuesday, and so she came home and there was a massive erection at the end of a road. That had just been, that pole had been put up? Yeah. Okay, is it not a, like an electric pole or something like that? Um, yeah, it's just basically a telegraph pole. Okay. Um, but so, someone's like, um, it's a next-door neighbour who's watched it happen. Mm. I right, just came in and put it in. No planning permission had happened. I think it wouldn't need planning permission if it's from the council. Yeah, you do. <coughs> Pardon me. Yes, to, you do, yeah. They still need to tell everybody that they're going to put a pole Oh, up. okay. Right, um, so Sophie Johnson's on the left of that picture, and Julia, who's her neighbour, is on the right. Julia wearing a smock? I she, think Julia's trying to shove her boobs up. She, is, she, is it a polo shirt? I mean, it's nothing to do with the story. I'm just it's quite nothing. interested. It looks like she's like a dental nurse type person. Yeah, possibly. Mm. Maybe she is. It doesn't say. Um, but they put, Oprah Richard puts this black stuff all over the pole, and it oh. absolutely stinks. Creosote. But just I like the smell stuff. of that. You like the smell of creosote? Mmm. Proper strong. <laughs> kind of person that just sits in petrol stations, aren't you? That's that's nice. That's a nice smell. Yeah. Anyway, um, if you've got an interesting smell, was it no point in the story of that? I'm moving. I'm moving on because that was, was it. it. That was a, it. A big, a, that a was a big sticky pole. I thought you were going to say well, she sat on top of it or something like that. No, <laughs> no. there's just a pole. It's just a, a big smelly erection. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Wow. You got a bit into the smells of things. And... Oh, okay. Yeah, we lost you, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, I thought there was a point. There's never a point. But if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Could TV. And that takes us to our story of the week. Now. Is it strange man delivers milky substance to the doorstep and woman goes mental? <laughs> it's not, no, no. But it is a bodily fluid. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you've already said that you've got some real flowers in your garden. Yes. Okay. Uh, how do you take care of their well-being? Water them. Do you ever put plant food on them? I put plant food in the water. Oh. Dissolvable. <laughs> Dissolvable. 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 Yes. Okay. That is what I do. And is this stuff you buy or, or do you use organic? Buy it. Just buy it. In a bottle. Well, you can save yourself some money. Because research has shown on a large, large scale, mm. right, that human pee fertilises crops really well. Does it now? Yeah. Piss. Human pee, yes. <laughs> um... So it's an ancient technique, and I try this in lots of different areas. Um, but it's a group of women from Niger. 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 <laughs> is that not just a fancy way of saying Nigeria? No, it's a different country. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Is that up or down? <laughs> so a group of uh, women from Niger um, volunteered to help. And Kiss so on the plants. <laughs> no, what they have to do is they have to pee into buckets okay. and store it for three months. Ugh. So that all the, the pathogens disappear. It ferments. No, it's just to let all of the... the so like pathogens in pee just d die, okay. so they can last for a couple of months. So like three months, twenty three degrees, and it then stinks. They mix it with water again because it thickens as it uh, as it sits there, and then it, they they spray it on the plants, and it's done really well, it's really good. Um, and it, they called it the product. They called it Oga, O G A. What does that sound for? That's just what they're calling it. Oh, okay. It doesn't stand for anything. Doesn't stand for anything. No. It, Quite liberal. Um, and they would use, call it something, you know, like golden, golden milk or something. No, that's weird. <laughs> golden milk. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't call it that. That's well, weird. So what else could you call it then? I don't no. So they've gone for that word. You don't like it, but you got... yellow sunshine or Le yellow yeah, sunshine. something nice, like ogre or whatever it is. <laughs> ogre. Hmm. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to be gathering my own urine. You know, saving being it. on plants. Mm, yeah. The, 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 do you know what the, the original meaning of hasn't got a pot to piss in? Oh, we're going to give you a little bit of history here. Okay. Right, hundreds of years ago, uh -huh. when they used to 
So you used to use urine to tan leather. Mm -hmm. When you were a lad, yeah. When I was a child, yeah. yeah. People, poor people, like, poor people. Um, poor people, um, yeah. would, <laughs> would take their pee to the tanneries. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, what they say is, so poor you haven't got pots pissing. That's where it originates from. Oh, okay. just, yeah. just thought I'd share that with you. It's nothing to do with the story, but I just thought I'd share it. Thanks for that. Not quite called the, you know, that's history, that is, or anything, but... Oh, okay. Yeah. That's all from the buzz this week. Thank you for that, Mike, for that, for that polls and piss and all, all that's in between. Stick around, because coming up next, we have Lee in the showbiz. Like, cool. <laughs> You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with the ever wonderful Lee. I prefer the term ever living. Mm -hmm. I'm dead. Mumra. <laughs> Mumra. Mumra from from that program. Thundercats. Thundercats. Yes. Yes. Mm, memories. Anyway, June was Pride Month. It was. And to be fair, Pride, we kind of like have Pride sort of like beginning of May and it lasts all the way through to September in a lot of places. Because mm -hmm. there's sort of like Pride in Manchester, there's Brighton Pride, there's other Prides in other places that Sheffield I don't know Pride. of. Sheffield Pride. Uh, Prides around the country, around the world, in fact. Dublin Pride, is like Pride in Ireland. Mm, lots of Prides. Yeah, Newcastle Pride. Yeah, stop saying things. Leicester Pride. Stop saying, stop saying places. Now, okay. So... She's a bit. Um, Christine. Pride. Oh, God. So we're Just gonna. Pride. <laughs> Do you ever wonder what? What have you done today <laughs> to make yourself pride? Okay. Um, so we'll move. Listen, pride. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Blood. Slight bit of blood trickling down my face. Or a bit hey. myself. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we're going to. to, going to Paul's got a pride. I'm going to punch <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go back in time a little bit. A couple, oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to just, 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 just. Okay, yeah, just keep going. Get it out of your system now. Yes. Anymore? No. <laughs> no okay. Yeah. Um, so, oh, I hate you. Um, <laughs> there'll be no time left. That's it. That's the end of the show business. Um, Christina Aguilera, mm -hmm. she headlined LA Pride. Nice. A good couple of months ago now. There's Pride in America as well. There is Pride in America. I know there is, yes. LA Pride, Los Angeles. She's uh -huh. coming over to Brighton. New, New, New York's got Pride as well, hasn't it? It does, yes, Mike. But we're not talking about any <laughs> other Prides. We're just talking about this one. Right, OK. So, Christina Aguilera. She, um, she, but what they're saying is she proved herself to be a true icon. Uh-huh. I don't know if you can, but, you know. So, she she kicked off um, Pride celebrations in LA um, by doing some of her greatest hits. The thing that kind of um, stood out, <laughs> literally, was... <laughs> literally um, catch your eye she, like yeah, she, she decided, she did um, um, a, bit of, a bit of a collaboration with, um, with a couple of... LGBTQ artist Kim Petrus. Mm -hmm. She dressed in green and was wearing a massive green strap on. Okay. Uh, bejeweled encrusted strap on. Oh no, you don't want them bejeweled. Do you not? Sharp I mean, it's things. just. I mean, we've, I mean, you know, she's she doesn't look that happy actually. To be fair, there she's like. Mm, mm. Who, who's the woman that's squatting down uh, the in front of a, the lady that is the lady that's my my favorite. <laughs> that's Kim Petrus. Uh -huh. who's, who's squatting down. I don't know who the other lady is. Because she's enjoying herself now. She's enjoying herself. I think she's a backup, backup dancer. So, um... <laughs> she's yeah. a what? She's a, she's a backup she's a back dancer. Up. <laughs> backup dancer. That's what they call them. Because they're like... Eh. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so she yeah she and she wore lots of different costumes. Uh -huh. One of the other ones that she wore was was um, when she sang Lady Marmalade. She came on dressed in um, this a kind of like a feathered cat suit, but then for Beautiful, yeah, 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 that one. She wore this Pride um, inspired flag themed thing. Not. <laughs> the, the choice about the choice of yes. <laughs> <laughs> is kind of um, yeah. Not... She's got she's got a bit of a huff happening there. She does. There's a bit of camel toe oh, going on oh, there. Oh, you do have to double double that's, look that's to go. A bit of camel what? That's a full on huff. It is, that's isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, she, she so she was like saying that she was honoured to have performed at Pride, mm. um, and and always and thank the LGBTQ plus community for supporting her, um, and um, you know we, we just wanted to. to 
to to kind of big big up and represent. Oh my god, I didn't. I can't believe I said that. That even made me cringe. Big up and represent. Yo. Um, so, like Sorry, I, I went big up on the side of that strap. Oh. Well, she's, she's <laughs> I want got, to she's, dig up. <laughs> she's got. Bert, do you know what? She's loaned it to us. Has she really? She has. Yeah. Now you see. A lot of pop stars and celebrities are not as big in real life okay. as you think, right? So I got in touch with her peeps uh -huh. and said, "Can we, can we borrow it?" And she's, yeah, she sent it over. It's not very big, is it? It's not. No, not touch the sides. No. Um, so she must be a really small, small celebrity. Uh huh. Yeah. Do you want to borrow it? No, no. Just put it on the table. You can put it on the table if you want. Pop it on the table there. Oh, good old strap on. Yeah. Huh? Um, thank you, Christina, for lending us that. Yeah. She wants it back because she's doing Brighton. Um, literally, she's doing Brighton. Brighton. Pride. She's doing Brighton Pride. She's doing Hull Pride. Not whole of it, just a little bit. No, Hull Pride. Oh, I don't know. What about Chester Pride? She's not doing any of those, Mike. She's just doing Brighton Pride. <sighs> right, let's move on to something else. So, are you a fan? You're a, you like the Avenger films, don't you? You like those superhero types. I do things. indeed. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a new one coming out Thor Love and Thunder. Oh, imminently. Thornwall and... Pride. <laughs> this is another pride that I've not thought of. <laughs> this is the poster there for it. There he is. Um, which again looks makes me look. It looks a bit he manish, doesn't it? I don't know. If that's Just intentional to fit. the kind of the way they've done it. I so, so he looks fit. That's all you need to care. Well, this is this is a little bit up your alley. So really? the, oh, well. <laughs> the guy that uh, produced that, that directed it, mm -hmm. I think he's called Takiwatiti. Okay. Which is this gentleman here, who also stars in the film. Uh huh. Has been talking about how they wrote a naked scene into the film. He is a saviour. He should be knighted. Um, so, yeah, th there is a very revealing scene in the sort of early part of the, the film okay. where Th Chris Hemsworth, who plays Thor, mm -hmm. is up against the wall now. No, uh, is up... <laughs> <laughs> he, he, I'm enjoying the side of this movie. He's like taken to the um, well, the <laughs> he's taken to well. taken to the land of the gods, something like. And he's wearing a disguise, and um, somebody, Russ, Zeus, who is played by Russell Crowe, uh -huh. um, goes like, "We need to see who you are," and 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 zaps him, and all his clothes fall off. So he's completely naked. Okay. Um, and um, um, he was. He's basically saying the director is basically saying, "We couldn't not, could not do it." I think. I think we've got a picture of. Perhaps not his his doody woody because you don't see his peen. Yeah. Um, now it's to me that looks like he's wearing a weird fake bodysuit, but that's all him. No, that's him. Yeah, he's like ripped to to the max. Just take a moment there. So he's saying something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, he's saying he knows exactly what people wanted, so we gave it to them. He said, "You know, I think if you've got a body like Chris, and you know that even he understands that it would just." be a waste not to, to show it off. It would be a crime against humanity. It would. So you know you've got to provide it for the masses. Beginning of July comes out or mid-July? Beginning of July. It will be coming out very soon. Then. Very, very soon. Very soon. So you can take your tissues and... Um... You see, I have a problem with this because the first time I went to watch Thor, the very first one, mm -hmm. right, my mum took me to see it with my other mum. Okay. So I'm sat there with, with two... you bean. I'm there, I'm, I'm there going, oh my God, it's amazing. I was going, oh no, it is good, isn't it? I'm like, what? Is there a plot? Um, now this is this is this is massively important showbiz news. Okay. So it's Cher. No, it's not Cher. It's not Kylie. Is it Britney? It's not Britney. It's oh, none okay. of those. It's none of those. It is it is that one of the legendary groups of the early noughties mm -hmm. is returning back. They've they've Bewitched. No. Bewitched them back. They never went away, babes. They're, they're... Say lovey. <laughs> This joke goes on. Oh, on. my God. Um, Endubs. Yeah. Back. Back after 10 years. Has it, has it been 10 years? That's them it's back only in the been day. 10 years. <laughs> only been 10 years since Dappy, the girl and the other one. <laughs> Dappy is the one with the hat, uh -huh. with the, the tie thing on. The middle is Talisa. Uh -huh. um, and then we have Richard, <laughs> who goes by the name of Phaser. Right. Um, and, um, yeah, they were a North London hip-hop trio mm -hmm. that all the kids were into, and they was well wicked. Um, that's them now. Okay. Um, I, think, I think that piece a bit cold. A bit cold. A bit chilly. Yeah, so they, they have announced that they are coming back, and okay. they're going to do a countrywide tour. Um, you know, say country and Western tour. Country and Western <laughs> tour, yeah. Um, I don't know a single end-up song. What was that one about the thing and the thing? 
was the... the, the, the I know that, the, that she went on to be on X Factor. Yes. And mentored Little Mix. Yes. So it's her fault. It's, it's her fault. No, I like Little Mix. They were good. They were good. Um, <laughs> if I and then there was the famous bit where Gary Barlow insulted her live on uh, called a fag breath. Such a child. Um, <laughs> what? Why am I laughing? I saw you sniggering when I said fag breath. Um, um, Dappy. Uh huh. He had a couple of. I think he had a number one hit with okay. No Regrets. Is that not what re No Regrets. No, that was Robbie Williams. Don't work. Um, yeah, so yeah, that, so that so the back they've released a new single. I haven't listened to it. Um, um, but mm -hmm. this will interest you. Mm -hmm. Just after they'd broken up, yep. Dappy mm -hmm. released a photograph of himself okay. naked. Oh. You know, I don't think he was meant to do Oh, it. my. Oh, my God, you've used the actual <laughs> photograph. <laughs> Cover it up. I edited that. I put I put a chewing the cud sign over his penis because I thought no way is that going to be allowed on the screen. It's his massive cock. <laughs> is that allowed? I don't think it's allowed. Uh, so if you're watching this, it's probably the last time because we're going to be taking on a fair showing a massive cock on um, <laughs> and his penis. Um, just that. Uh, are we allowed to do that? We're not allowed. We've just do done that. it, so we have to, aren't we? <laughs> the worrying thing is, I didn't send you the picture of his cock. You've gone and searched for that. It's quite easy to find, to be mm, fair. It is. Anyway, so if you're a fan so, yeah, of to know what to Google I'm a fan search. of massive cock. Um, <laughs> Are you just search for it? <laughs> get along to their show in November. <laughs> that's the end of this. That's the end of this week. That's the end of this week's show of his news. <laughs> Do we cry? So yes. Um, so if you are looking for, to find Dappy's um, picture, because he actually he actually purposefully leaked it. Mm, did he? Yeah, yeah. There's a whole story behind it that he was trying to do it to to big up his career, as it were. <laughs> um, but yeah, just search for for Dappy M does penis. It's there. Mm. Yes. Um, but stick around because coming up next we've got our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. This week we're going to play our Gobby Game Show. And this one is off for you, Lee. So I want you to remove thyself. Sarah shock. He's dead. Ow. Game of the Week. What Lee's going to do is he's going to pop something in his mouth to make his mouth wider. That's a, that's a gift. Um, and describe what he's got on the card. Are you ready, sweetheart? I am. However, I have suddenly realised that there are choices in this game. Okay. So you can have blue, orange, green, or purple. So we've been playing this game for what? A year? About ten years. Yeah. Yeah, and I've only just realised that now. Okay. So it'll pop in and we'll get started then. Oh, sorry. I thought, I was going to, I thought you were going to choose a colour first. So what are my choices? <sighs> Blue, orange, <laughs> green, or ha 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 ha. Ah, I'll go for ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Okay, that's okay. on. Pink Hunter Mystery Man. Oh, that ears fell on it. That sounds like a lot. Pink, Pink, ha -ha. Pink Hunter Mystery Man. Pink Hunter. Da -da 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 Pink Panther. Pink Panther. Yeah. Mystery. Man. It's a mystery. It's Pinky a... Panther Listerine, man. No. Mystery. 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 History. Mystery. Yeah. Yeah. An history. Yes. You got it right. Pink Panther Mystery Man. Ah. Uh, okay. Do you want the same colour or would you like to go for a different colour? What? Same colour or different colour? Oh, you've not got the mouth space for it. I thought you had, sorry. Um, let's go for a different colour. What would you like? Any. Any. Okay. <laughs> a Henny in Nyack Hockett. Henny. A Henny in. Nye Black Pocket. That's a bit racist. A 
honey. And a honey hiketa and a day I'll have good luck. Henny? In my jack. Henny? Yeah, Henny. Henny? Yes. In? In? Nye. Nye. Rack. 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 Pocket. Pocket. Yes. Henny in my bag pocket. Okay. Not the words I was saying. They were. Yeah, they were. No, they weren't. Okay. Um, Can you hear me when I'm talking? Okay. Mm. Egg hot. Ah. <laughs> Can you hear me when I'm talking? Yes. All right, okay. Because I'm, I'm saying words, and then you're saying, yes, that's right, and then telling different words than I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Brand new pink Brand icicle. Randy Newt. No. Brand new. Randy Newt. Pink icicle. Pink icicle. Icicle. Brand new. Pinky Newt. Randy Bicycle. The bicycle, that's right. Rand new. Randy Newt. Rand new. Ramanute. Ram. Rantanute. The. Rentanute. Shut up! Rand new pink bicycle. Oh, your time's up. That was brand new pink bicycle. Right. I haven't got time to be buggering around today. <laughs> I haven't got time to be buggering around. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, ooh! <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? Oh, I just uh, said what I'm going to say. Pocket hen protection. You should wear a condom, you're right. Yes. Pocket hen protection. Pocket mm -hmm. hen, hen protection. Wait, what's the middle word you're saying? Hen. Not hen. Chicken. No. <laughs> the right way. Chicken cock. No, the the right thing is with. Pocket hen protection. Pocket hen yeah. protection. Why are we protecting hens with pockets? Oh dear. Time's up that one. Pocket pen protection. There's not a time to get. <laughs> it is. It's not. It is. <laughs> it is. Okay. Next one. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> rounds of rangers and rash. Beg your pardon? <laughs> rounds. Nouns? Nouns of rangers and rash. Nouns of rangers and rash. <laughs> you, can, <laughs> you got the last it right. What, rangers and rash? <laughs> I can't, literally, can't do a, a, a I don't know what. Can't do a bear. I don't know what. So, na nouns of rangas and nash. <laughs> nouns of nangas and nash. No, one more time, then I'll leave it up. <laughs> <laughs> nouns of rangas and nash. Mounds of bangas and mash. Ah. Oh. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Mountains of bangas. Oh, okay. A googie googie hoogle high. Boogie woogie bugle boy. Yeah! That was a good one. Yeah, you didn't think I was going to get that, did you? Uh, no. No. Oh, uh, did the next side of the song. This is weird. Um, this is weird. This is weird. This is weird. I got that one right. Flaky, hissy, raked roundies. You need to go not to. That's happening. Flaky, hissy, raked roundies. Yeah, you need to go and see the doctor quite badly if that's happening. Don't want me to do it on. What is it? Flaky fishy baked brownies. Oh. Uh, I thought you were saying it was a yeast infection. That's a nighting yeast. <laughs> Are we talking about um, dildos cock or whatever it was? Yeah. That's a nighting yeast. Knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Christina Aguilera. <laughs> Yeah. Massive Mighty Moose. I added the knuckle. All oh, right, okay. For hilarity purposes. For hilarity purposes. Hilarity purposes. Don't even communicate. Hilarity purposes. Um, oh, okay. 
Neat muffins and niner steak. These mean nothing. Meat muffins are yeah. a minor mistake? Yes! It doesn't mean anything. What's your other thighs? I, I think I've done quite well at the gym. I've yeah. missed one leg day. What's your thighs? Why are we talking about my thighs? What's she nud? My thighs are not mushy. What's she nud thighs? Mushy fat thighs? What's she fat thighs? No, oh. it's not highs, it's high highs. Not highs, it's highs. Mushy uh, Mushy mud pies, I'm giving up on that one. Okay. Hiking hot ha 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 has. Hiking hot ha 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 has. Can you just look into the camera and say until we meet it again and laugh? And then laugh. Did I look, just... Put the space in. Look into the camera and say until we meet again and then laugh. Until we meet again and then laugh? Yeah. With this in? Yeah. Just look into the camera and do it. Until we meet again. <laughs> it's like Skeletor's in the building. It's brilliant. It's what? <laughs> it's like, have you ever seen Skeletor? You... <laughs> shit. Skeletor is... <laughs> it's oh, no, it's been Ah, you and your stupid dog! No, I didn't. I had that the other cats. <laughs> <laughs> that was I was going to, I was going to listen to us. Cause I'm gay, can't help it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think hot ha 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 ha. Did that once at the Pride, didn't you? I think <laughs> piping hot pepper pepper. Oh, piping hot pepper poppers. Yeah, that's what I thought you said. Yeah. yeah. Um, Ronya, pretty hetty princess, pretty hetty princess, pretty, ding, hetty, ooh, princess. Pretty Patel is not a princess. No, she's not. <laughs> she's a pretty hetty princess. <laughs> they have uses for some people. <laughs> pretty hetty princess. Pretty pretty princess. <laughs> Nearly pretty petty princess. Oh. That's the end, isn't it? That's the end, isn't it? That's the end. Well, stick around because after this, it's time to. Oh no, it's Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we celebrate our skills as we go for Crafty Queens. Hello, my craft-loving friends. Celebrate, did you say, Mike? Uh, all right. Celebrate good times, come on. That's what everyone sings when this pile of stuff yeah. comes on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought they were, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. It's summer, Mike. It is. It is summer, and yeah. what comes out in the summer? Legs. Legs. But we're not making a leg today, because that oh. would be weird. We're going to make a butterfly. I thought you were about to say buttocks then. Like, they come out too, Buttocks. Yeah. We are going to be doing a little bit of the ancient art of origami. Oh. Oh. Mm. Um, I have to have had the instructions written down next to me, because... Which means it's going to go horribly wrong. Yeah, it could go, It couldn't turn into something hor horrific. But, you know, it's the luck of the draw. So, but in front of you, you have some pieces of square card yes yes now you can choose one color or you can choose two colors it's completely up to you mike i'm going to choose two colors you're going to choose two yeah yeah a little bit a little bit of chinese there for you um so what are you using mike i'm using blue and orangey red oh very patriotic i'm using patriotic. pink i'm <laughs> patriotic blue and orange blue. it's not orange it's red that's orange well whatever um, i'm using my favorite colors Blush and blush. Those of you who are of the homosexual in, in persuasion will, will get that reference. So, um, what you need to do... Let explain it to everybody else that might not get the reference that was born oh, after the year 2000. Steel Magnolias. Yeah. Yeah. But not everybody would get that reference. But it, you know, if you... It's not a gay thing, it's an age. If you were... <laughs> when did that movie come out? <laughs> About 1900. Exactly. It's the first colour film. 1989 or something like that. that looks, a lot of people weren't born Oh, then. mate, it's a classic. People will have watched that film. And if you haven't, you need to go and watch it. Educate yourselves, please. They're, they're very good. It's very good. Anyway, that, this, you know, the less... Uh, no. Right. So, what you need to do is take, <laughs> um, take your piece of card 
and break down homosexual. Fold it directly in half. Just one of them. Well, you're going to do both, but just do one for now. <laughs> okay. Right. And then do the other one as well. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then you're going to open it, open it up. In right. fact, we can double it. So put put your put one piece of card on top of the other. Okay. Along the folded line. So the red is going to be the top. Um. No, the red's going to be the bottom. Oh yeah, I've done it wrong already. Um, that needs to go that way. You could just ju just turn it round if it's square. Mmm. No, mine didn't match. And then cut cut down the middle. All the way. Yeah, all the way through. Right. Okay. So. So we could have started off with two slips of paper. So you need two. Well, I was just it was just you know it was just easy to do it this way, Matt. I'm following the instructions from the woman on the program. Okay. So what? Take one piece of paper which. Whichever, it doesn't matter what colour, just take okay. one piece of paper and, and put it in front of you so that it is... In landscape. Yes. I was going to say horizontal. Yeah. yeah. And then you're going to fold that in half. Okay? okay. And then you're going to open it up. Okay. You're going to now, put it down the middle again? No, we're not going to cut it down the middle again. What we're going to do is we're going to fold the corners mm -hmm. into each other. So into the middle. Right. Right, like paper airplane. You might have to kind of manipulate your piece of paper to... If you don't edit. do it, no one will love you. Okay. So you've done that. So fold it back in, fold it back in together again. So I have a trapezoid. A trapezoid. So you want to turn it the other way around. So the, the pointy ends are at the top and the smaller ends at the bottom. Ends. The, this point. The long these, end. These, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So put that in front of you, right? Yeah. Um, now then, this is... <laughs> This is the bit where I get a bit confused. So the fir first flap, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're going to fold it up. So, but you're going to leave a half a centimeter length at the top. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Turn that. Right, and then you're going to like make a fan, like a concertina. So you're going to then fold it back the other way, and then keep doing that until all of it is folded. Then you're going to flip it over and do the other side. So the same thing, so fold it to an inch. You can't... You can... <laughs> you can... The gallery said it's like sex. Yeah, it's because you keep saying the word flip. Flip. Yeah. Flip, reverse it. Do you know what flipping is? You just flip them over. No? Is it not? It's people who are can flip. People that are what? Verse can flip. Oh, okay. I'm new to sex, so I don't know. <laughs> right. When you went to the doctor, they neutered you. <laughs> Not new to sex, they neutered you. Like, I'm new to sex. Um, so... <laughs> I've only ever done anal once. <laughs> um, so you've folded it, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so then you're going to then... Because this is going to be like the, the set of wings, uh -huh. right? You're going to fold that in half again. It's very 1930s kind of... It is a little bit art deco -y. Now, uh, this isn't true origami, because true origami, you do not cut the paper. You yeah. make it out of one piece of paper. But uh -huh. it's 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 um, origami-esque. Um, so, right, okay, so you're going to put that to one side for now. Right. Get one of your other other pieces of paper, the other, other colour. Okay. All right. Um, and, um, yeah, I can't remember what I'm going to do with this bit. Um... <laughs> No, you do this. You do this. You see, what do we do? What do we do, Mike? No, I don't know. We 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 do we do the fold. We make a foldy concertina thing. So again, you fold in like an inch, like one centimetre. You mean a centimetre? Centimetre, yeah. They're very different. I told things. you. I told you I'm new to sex. I don't know things. <laughs> um, and then flip it over, <laughs> turn it over, fold. Da, 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 da. Right. Well, oh, you're very speedy today, Mike. Okay, so you've got your little constant thing and then you fold that again in half. It matches my outfit. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. So does mine. Ooh, what a quinky dink. Ooh. So f fold, <laughs> fold them. Okay. Have I done that right? Oh, I'm not sure. So. I think I have. Why does that look bigger? Right, we're going to have to make the, the bit that you've just folded a bit smaller. Because I've, I've done something in, in a... In a yeah, I've done it wrong way, but it's fine. It's fine. So just chop. 
a couple of centimeters off the um, edge of the thing. Okay. Um, so, right. So you're gonna get your top, your top bit that's kind of like the pointy ends. Uh-huh. And the smaller bit that you just folded. Yeah. Choose a piece of, 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 of um, string. Uh-huh. And make a little hot loop. And you're gonna thread that loop through to get it into the middle. I don't know what I've done. This was really easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want it in the middle. Right. Um, and tie a knot. So you rest it on top of each other. Okay. Tie a knot. You want the knot to be on the top, the middle of the, the fold on the top. Okay. And a little bit of a knot. Right, I've got knotted. Okay. Just snip off the excess bit of, um, the short bit of um, string. And then what you do is, you just open up the folds. And you might want to kind of bend them a little bit. Oh my goodness. And then you, sh oh, it's dead. Mine died. Oh. I think you need, the knot needs to be kind of pretty central. Oh, you've done it. Why is mine dead? Why is mine just hanging there like a? Why is your shit? Now, if you want to, because I've already made one I prepared earlier in purple, if you want to, this is that one's dead as well. What is the matter with me? Um, you can That's stick. A question some, nobody can answer. <laughs> you can Not stick. Some, time. <laughs> you can stick some jewels in the middle. Oh, can you? Yeah, just That's to kind nice. of over the knot. I'm going to do that. Okay. Just to pretty it up. If you if you did like, a, can you imagine like thirty or forty of those hanging from a ceiling? It would look beautiful at different levels. Yeah, of course it would, Lee. It would. Of course do. it would. It would. It would look absolutely lovely. That's very simple and very effective. Um, that is the end of this week's episode. So, as every week, if you can't get yourself any peen or even a little bit of a gene, be a crafty queen. How did you get yours to hang actually from the, from? Oh. Well, that's almost the end of the show for this week. Remember, you can find us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, on YouTube and podcast providers, search for Chewing the Cud. I fixed it for you. It's upside down. Not where I wanted it, but it's okay. Thank you for watching. I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Got this one then. It works. Yeah. It wasn't done by you. Snatch it away. Oh, snatch it away.